previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! We... I saw my parents. I know. You can leave me. It's okay. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. What do you think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello?
better. Oh, shoot. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. That's my gun. It's mine now. Give it back. Why should I? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. What's your name? My name? Why do you care? I... I was just wondering. Stupid. I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Please, stop. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. I killed someone for it. You? Killed? <laughs> Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> the 
this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... Omid said that... I know what Omid said. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. This won't burn. This might burn.
rest of your group. I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey!
It's okay, boy. It's okay. Okay, you don't like that. Got it. Sorry. What's he doing? Hey, what'd you find, boy? Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. <coughs> I am so sick of that smell. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, boy. Not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? Okay, bring it back. Good boy, good boy. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. Hmm, huh, nothing edible. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. <sighs> well, here we go. Oh my god, thank you. Look, a can! <coughs> now I just need... Hmm, something to open it with. Hey boy, what's the matter? Shh, we have to be quiet. It's okay, he's dead. 
dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. It's okay. We're smart, and he's not. We're smarter than all of them. Stand back, okay? We just have to stay out of their reach. Poor guy. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Please don't be bad. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, don't eat it all!
Grab her, let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get her. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. Now for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Uh, well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Serious? I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? 
You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Hey! <laughs> Lucky my nephew can't shoot for shit. Oh, whoa, what the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably You're heard that. You're the one that. telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? She tried to run, man. Well, Nick, can you really fucking blame her? We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? You're right. You shouldn't jump to any conclusions. You don't want to do something you're going to regret. Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We could take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. But we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out with it. Please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But. I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stitches. House meeting in five minutes. Best. Best. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this.
could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. Yeah, right. Help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurt. if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. some bandages though. That man sometimes. Have this baby. <laughs> let it be okay and let it be his.
Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. This is gonna suck. fun part. Hmm. Worst bandages ever. At least they'll keep the stitches in place when I'm done. showed me. Ah! <laughs> 
didn't get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? Can I please come inside now? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. 
Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? Well, they'll just have to deal. Besides, it makes sense to let you heal and take some time to sort things out, at least for a little while. So, what happened to your parents, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. I'm a little girl. You know what the hell you're doing. We got enough problems, and we don't need any new shit. Get it? You got what you came here for. Now go.
How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What's this doing here? This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it, then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could. But one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. 
Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. You shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. What happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. Fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it. You get your asses over here, both I'll of you. I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it. Can't you listen to me once? Just one time. <laughs> got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead.
your every breath Life is for the living in the water oh. You feel that you should run But where are you to hide in the water oh. Against the tide we struggle with the skin wearing Skin we're in against the tide we struggle to keep our heads above the deep and our hearts above the line above the line we vow your life and blood this is not our home in water Hope he is never found. Just try and keep your way in the water. Oh, and against the tide, we struggle. The skin wearing, skin wearing. Against the tide, we struggle to keep our heads above the deep. Our hearts above the line, above the line. And who we are today can never make amends for what we've done. Tainted blood in his eyes, his eyes are full of love. Forgive them, release them. Against the tide, we struggle. The skin we're in, the skin we're in. Against the tide, we struggle to keep our heads above the deep, our hearts above the line, above the line.